Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and welcome back to another art journal layout. Today I'm going to play on my Dina Weekly Blue Journal. I absolutely love the fact that it comes with different types of pages. And for today I am going to play on one of the white pages. And here are some of the projects that I did lately. Now, in this journal I don't follow an order. I don't mind if I go back and forth, I just pick the type of the page that I want to work with. So you see, now I want to work on a white page, so I'll just work on this one, although I do have other projects after that. You can always stamp the date if you want to know when you did something, which is something that I do sometimes, but in my case I do have my YouTube channel, so I know exactly when I did the page, since I can see there the date. Now, as you can see here, to protect the pages, I'm using my non-stick craft mat by Ranger, and this is a silicone mat by Ranger as well. I like this solution because they are quite big, so they protect a bigger area of my table and not just the pages, and they are also really easy to clean up. For my backgrounds today I will play with my Distress Oxide Sprays, two shades of blue, Tumbled Glass and Mermaid Lagoon. I'm going to apply them all over the place, and I am lately in love with sprays for backgrounds. They are super easy to use, they create beautiful backgrounds and at the same time they cover up big areas super quickly, just like you see here. And I like any type of spray really, both uh, my Distress Oxides as well as the Dina Weekly ones are absolute favorites. And I switch from one type to another depending on uh, the properties and if I want my background to be permanent or not. So you see here I did add lots of water on top of it just to activate the color even more and I want uh, things to run around and blend the colors even better. I'm gonna quickly dry it out and I'm using my heat gun here but it has two modes. One is for drying out things and the other one is for melting embossing powder. And then I'm going to use this stencil with the big dots and I'm going to apply some spray on top of it. I'm not introducing any new color, this is the darker color of the background, which is uh, Mermaid Lagoon. And excess paint is going again on top of the page and I'm cleaning it on top of it again. So now I'm going to do some splashes and for that I will use again my darkest blue shade, which is Mermaid Lagoon again. And now on the background I'm going to do some stamping. I like this technique because it gives even more visual texture. For that I'm using just a text stamp that I had for ages. I don't even know which company it is from. And I'm using archival link to stamp that, which means that it is permanent. The color is faded jeans. It is a dark blue shade, but it's not as vibrant as it would have been if it was black. I'm going to put the background aside to dry and now I'm going to work on my focal points. I'm using here Distress Mixed Media Paper, which I absolutely love, and I'm going to spray on top of it with the new Gloss Sprays by Dina Weekly. I did use them before in another art journal video and I did explain the um, properties of them, but just keep in mind that they are uh, permanent, they are acrylic paint, and as you spray on top of them, you see that uh, one paint resists the other. So I'm going to leave those to dry, and by the way I used two colors, these are magenta and fuchsia. I'm also going to add some splashes by using these two colors on my background, and since these are permanent, they are not going to blend in as much with the background, they are not going to react, they are just going to stay nice and vibrant as they look at the moment. Now on the paper that I created, I'm going to use a die to draw some uh, circles. You can use any jar that you have to draw a few circles here. I am uh, not going to use the die to cut them out as I don't want them to be completely perfect. I like the imperfections of cutting them out with my scissors. And I'm going to draw three of them here and then I will use my scissors to cut them out. Today's art journal is obviously inspired by the current situation with the virus. I wanted to somehow make a note on my art journal about this, the thing that we are living at the moment. We do have to stay home for... Uh, is it... I think it's been uh, about 25 days now. And um, we have a general lockdown in Greece. We are not allowed to go out. We need a special permission to go shopping for groceries and stuff. 
So since I spend all day at home along with the kids, I do a lot of crafting. And uh, one of the highlights of my day is when I watch in the evening uh, Diane's day by day journal. I absolutely love it. I love the illusions, her style and everything. And uh, today's page is um, definitely influenced by her style. And of course, I will add my personal touch to make it my own. So now, if you are wondering, these pink circles are going to be viruses later on. And I also used some designs from the Dilusions collage papers. So here is what I have already cut out. I do have a body, a big one, since I'm working on a big page, and a big head. This is the head that Diane used on one of her later day-by-day -day pages. If you have these collage papers, make sure to use it in one of the pages. I think it is perfect for the situation. Now, I am also going to cut out this um, shape. I really like this design and uh, all the colors that it has on top. So as I'm cutting it out, I'm making sure that I leave out the black border so that I can make it my own easier later on. Now, the idea of cutting out this shape is to use it as hair for my girl. I need to give her some crazy hair today since she cannot go to the hairdressers. As I'm making this page, I try to keep it quite optimistic. I know the situation is really hard and it's hard for all those people who are working out there at the moment and all the ones that are sick and they are fighting the virus. So I try to keep uh, the colors kind of um, happy and bright and give an optimistic message out there that everything is going to be okay at the end. So you see here I'm using my scissors and I'm cutting off her hair completely so that I can give her new ones. Don't be afraid to be creative with those collage designs. Think outside of the box, be creative, you don't have to use them as they are. Cut them out, bits and pieces here, bits and pieces there. Turn them around and you will end up with a very unique page. So now I'm going to put the head together. I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe glue, which uh, is my favorite. I don't change it. It's always on my desk. And then I'm going to stick everything down and put together my girl. And now it's time to do some doodling. For that, I am using uh, different types of uh, acrylic markers. These are the ones by Dilutions. They have a very fine tip, but I'm also going to bring in later on my Pebio acrylic markers. They have thicker nibs, but uh, you get a choice there on which uh, type of nib you like to use. You can use your Posca pens, any acrylic markers work on this one. The fun part about working with acrylic markers on top of a collage is that they go opaque, which means that it's going to completely cover up the color underneath. So it's uh, nice if you want to do little details like I'm going to do here later on, like coloring um, her dress, pink instead of orange as it is at the moment. So I am at the moment going all around the designs, the cutouts, adding a black line just to help them pop against the background. 
Now I zoomed in for you so you can see better and I'm going to show you how I turn those circles into viruses. So I'm going to go all around the circle and I'm going to draw smaller ones with my thin acrylic marker. Keep in mind that I'm working on a page that is very textured. It's not as smooth as the um, Dilutions art journal. That's why I have to go again and again over the circle to make sure that it shows nicely. But you can see how easy that pen draws on top of uh, that page. And now I'm drawing some lines connecting all those little uh, circles with the main one. And remember this is acrylic paint which means that it's going to dry permanent and no matter what I decide to use on top of it, it's not going to smudge or smear. Now I switch to a thicker black marker and I'm going to draw the lines one more time. This way I'm creating a darker border that gives some shade and helps the design pop against the background. And then I'm going to bring in a pink acrylic marker and color in all those designs. And now it's time to bring out my white gel pen. I always like to work with Signo Uniball white gel pen. I think it writes beautifully on pretty much every surface. I'm coloring in the tops of the spikes for my viruses. And then, just like always, I'm going to add some highlights here and there, not paying attention on where the light is. I'm just drawing some lines here and there, just because I like the look. I will do that for the viruses, I will do that for her hair, her dress, everything. Now, notice that um, although I have a lot of pink on my page, her dress is um, orange, which is something that I don't like. I want to match pretty much everything here. And that's why I'm going to bring in the same pink marker. This is acrylic paint marker again. And I'm going to go over her polka dots and different bits and pieces of her dress. You can also use these acrylic markers to brighten up the colors. So here I'm working with yellow over yellow, but look how vibrant it looks now. And I'm also going to add touches on her crazy hair. Since I have so bright viruses, I need to have bright colors on the main focal point, which is the girl. Now inside the viruses I'm going to stamp a few words. I am going to stamp on the first one isolation, on the second one it's going to be social distancing and on the third one it's going to be COVID-19. Now you don't have to stamp them letter by letter, I just love to do that, I find it very relaxing and uh, I love collecting alphabet stamps. The one that I'm using here is actually one by Concord and Ninth and if it is still available you will find it linked down below just like everything else that I'm using. On a white scrap piece of paper I'm also going to stamp another quote that says things will work out. This is from the Dina Weekly stamp set which is called Work in Progress. I stamp that with black archival ink and I'm going to use my scissors to cut it out into three different parts. This is going to be the main quote for my layout today. I like it because it is optimistic, it gives hope on an otherwise crazy situation. So again I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe glue to stick everything down. And I will use a thin black marker to go around those uh, cutouts just to help them pop against the background. And at this stage my page is pretty much finished. I'm just uh, using my black and white pen to add de little details here and there. Just some doodling. I'm also going to bring in the white one to add some uh, highlights around the letters. It is a little detail that I always like to do on my quotes. And I'm going to finish off my page by stamping the date. So that was the layout for today. I hope that you had fun, that you got inspired. You will find linked down below a full list of all the products that I used to create it. Thank you all so much for joining me today and I'll see you all next time.